WWE 2K19 marked the fifth consecutive year for Chris Danger in WWE games. And in today's video, we're gonna look at how the savior of wrestling evolved from an idea to an icon. I wrote this, by the way, so it might be a little biased. With hundreds of thousands of downloads, over 300 million views, and countless unforgettable moments, he's truly the greatest fictional professional wrestler that has ever existed. It ain't bragging if it's true. <laughs> anyway, hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Let's begin. Chapter 1, Dawn of the Danger. In 2014, 2K Games released the highly anticipated, uh, moderately anticipated WWE 2K15, the first ever wrestling game on the newest generation of consoles. And one thing I was very interested in was the career mode. At the time, I was a part-time YouTuber, making videos just kind of when I could and when I felt like it. But WWE 2K15 changed literally everything. On November 19th, I opened up WWE 2K15's create a character and made this. Chris Danker. Danger. Well, not really danger yet. So here's the thing. I had every intention of naming the 2K15 character after my actual name. But for commentary and presentation purposes, danger was the closest thing. It wasn't actually until episode 30 of 2K15 My Career Mode that the nameplate on the screen was officially changed to Chris Danger. It took me 30 episodes to actually change it. Danger's initial 2K15 My Career Run would last a total of 41 episodes, culminating with Chris's forced retirement from in-ring action. That was actually a pretty cool storyline. But Danger wasn't ready to leave just yet. On December 11th, 2014, Chris Danger would secretly re-debut as the masked man, El Poligro. With a more advanced moveset, fake tattoos, about 30 extra pounds of muscle, <laughs> and a chip on his shoulder, El Poligro took the WWE by storm before revealing his true identity in episode 65. The Poligro era would actually last until episode 85, when he would go on to defeat Daniel Bryan in his farewell match at WrestleMania before riding off into the sunset again. So including the Max Danger Saga, the WWE 2K15 series lasted 137 episodes. But that was only the beginning. Chapter 2, back to back. The following year, 2K once again released their next installment in the WWE gaming franchise. And this time, Danger was not playing around. 200 episodes from start to finish in what I believe was the best 2K my career next to 2K19. Danger would turn heel, turn face, win titles, and finally achieve the ultimate apex, a WWE Hall of Fame induction, which they really need to bring back into the career modes, in my opinion. Chris's gear would change, you know, quite a bit throughout the series to kind of keep things fresh, give him a new look every now and then. And it was this particular year that really made me realize we had, we had something special. We had something special going on. I wasn't sure what it was yet or how to handle it, but I knew it was there. WW2K16 wrapped up that year with a match for the ages, though. Chris Danger versus Max Danger. First time ever Iron Man match. Chris would go the distance, defeat his son to proclaim himself the best danger on the planet. But this would not be the last time these two crossed paths in the squared circle. Hmm? Chapter 3. The final chapter except not. With two years in the books, it was time for Chris Danger to embark on his final chapter, if you will. But that didn't really work out as planned. 2K17 was a very underwhelming year for the My Career Mode. It was, it was so underwhelming, in fact, that Danger would leave WWE and embark on the Chris Danger World Tour, where he challenged legends such as Matt Hardy, Rey Mysterio, Kurt Angle, but even still, over 100 episodes of My Career Mode were produced that year. Though it wasn't like the story I originally wished to tell, it was the first time Danger got to cross enemy lines and battle superstars from other promotions, which was really cool. But somewhere along the line, the game just kind of fell flat. So the question is, would 2K18 be the answer to 2K17's troubles? The answer, of course, is not really, no. Chapter four, a fresh start. WWE 2K18 marked the fourth entry in the Danger franchise and while some new elements were added that made the experience a little more enjoyable, it was really a lot of just running and running and running and running. It was, however, the first time the Danger model was designed by someone else, as in my buddy Carl from Defract Cause. The intention was to kind of merge in real life Chris with 
Chris Danger and just kind of give him like a cleaner, more professional look and I think he nailed it. That's about the best that can be said about 2K18 as the My Career series came in at a surprisingly low 43 episodes. Now later on, My Career Universe would make its debut where once again Danger would be placed into custom storylines and matches, but much like 2K17, it got kind of tiresome trying to create something out of nothing as 2K18 didn't really have much to offer. It was also around this time that Chris Danger would make his UFC debut, pushing himself to his limits and learning a couple new tricks along the way. Even though Conor McGregor would defeat Chris Danger in his final UFC fight, we don't have to talk about that, Chris proved to everyone around the world, around the universe, that he can hang with the big boys. But you know, you can never truly keep a Danger down because that leads us to Chapter 5, WW2K19, The Here and Now. I've gone on record to say 2K19 is the best My Career Mode by a mile. Like, voice acted, story driven, exactly what you would want from a My Career mode. With a few glaring flaws, of course. <coughs> it's not John Cena. <coughs> Who is that? It was also very short, as the base Chris Danger My Career series was under 30 episodes. The shortest career mode yet. But if I'm being honest, I think I, I prefer a career like that. A shorter, story driven, well done, voice acted career over kind of an endless... Meh, fest. But when it was all said and done and the story was over, Danger wasn't ready to be done. After making an appearance in the groundbreaking phenomenon known as Wrestle War, Danger disappeared and no one has actually seen or heard from him since. And there's one man to thank for that. Yeah. Enter the multiverse. One night after a grueling contest that Chris, uh, I'm sure won, he received a call from fellow superstar Matt Hardy, who was rambling on about a problem within the multiverse, the place he and Matt had visited earlier in the career. But upon entering, something went wrong. Very, very wrong. The longer danger remained in the multiverse, the more unstable it became. And the instability would cause Chris's vessels to travel to alternate digital universes, such as Here Comes the Pain and Wrestling Revolution 3 Dimensions where he currently resides within the multiverse. And to top it all off, through all this chaos, Max Danger has been set loose in the real world from the multiverse. Oh yeah, did I mention Future Max escaped from the multiverse when Matt and Chris were just lollygagging? Way to be responsible. Currently, Danger has some unfinished business in Wrestling Revolution 3D, but I hear that once that's complete, he'll be making a strong, strong push to come on home. But can Chris Danger overcome the odds? Can he escape? the grasp of the multiverse. And if so, then what's in store next for the savior of wrestling? You're gonna have to stay tuned to find out. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a little self-serving, I'll admit. <laughs> but I thought it'd just be just a fun little, a fun little thing to kind of go over the history of Chris Danger in WWE games. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can. Plenty more coming your way. Don't miss it. I'll see you next time. Peace.